Guys, what are we doing? Well, we're looking at the cold steel kudu that you're gonna see spinning around here in just a second. And uh, I'm kind of surprised. I like this knife a lot for an $8 knife. It's got a lot going for it. It's the first day in pockets I just unboxed. So we're gonna take a look at it. Well, good morning, guys. We're looking at the cold steel kudu. I don't know why I always say good morning. It's actually afternoon for you guys. Usually I film in mornings. At any rate, this is the cold steel kudu. And this was a gift from Stacy Bolster Blades, one of my paying members. This um, this came to me and I've seen these for years. I actually remember when these first came out, I remember seeing them in the catalogs and this is based on a South American knife design. It's a ring lock and it has a really cool mechanism on it. Now, right up front, I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't, I'm not trying to compare this to something like the Cold Steel Gun Sight or some of the higher end knives that they make or any of that. I'm just telling you that at $8, this thing is pretty good for $8. It is not just like an average gas station knife. So um, let's do some size comparison first and foremost because this is not a little knife. Oh, first, 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 listen to this. It has a ratcheting mechanism in here that just makes it pretty cool. I will tell you, I'm not a big fan of the big ring, but we'll talk about all that. But first, we're gonna do some size comparisons. So first knife we're gonna look at is my Grimsmo Norseman, because why not just show both ends of the spectrum? Super expensive knife <laughs> and a really cheap knife. But you can see the Grimsmo Norseman is not a small knife. This is a rather large knife. You're looking at a four and a half inch blade, I believe. So you can see, it's a good bit bigger than my Norseman, which like I said, not a small knife. Your next knife's gonna be the Migron Valona, which just to give you perspective, is a nine inch knife overall. And you can see uh, this thing still falls in the middle of this. So this is a big knife. And so for our final size comparison, it's gonna be the Chris Reeves Sabenza, which you can see this is, this is not a small knife. This thing is actually really, really big. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and talk about this knife. So this knife uh, came to me, like I said, it is nothing special. This is based on a very cheap uh, South African knife design. These have been around for hundreds of years. I've seen other ring lock knives, but Cold Steel did one and uh, I've seen videos of these holding a lot of weight on the lock. Cold Steel has always done a great job with locks. Um, I'm not saying that I would trust this for heavy, heavy, heavy duty use, but this thing is actually really cool. So what do we got here? You've got this huge ring lock. I mean, we're talking, this thing's at least 10 inches. It has to be at least 10 inches overall. Um, they're, what do they call it? The, the handles on this are listed as, um, Zyx. So... You got, you got to look at it here. So you got five and three quarters and then four and a quarter. Um, yeah, you're looking at over a t a 10 inch, 10 inch size on this. But this is like their Zytal Grivery kind of uh, plastic. This is the same stuff they use in a lot of their handle materials. And it is solid. There is, there's no play in that. That is a solid piece of plastic. You have this kind of cool Impala design, which is the Kudu. There you go. You can see it right there. And then you have this big, five i don't i'm not i'm not trying to sugarcoat it it is 5 cr 15 mov um and it's a, it's made in china but what makes it interesting is this there's no play in that lock that lock is really strong it's this unique locking system that's in it which is very very old um there is a ratcheted locking system in here so you get this kind of cool sound and then to release it, you just pull back on the ring, get to past that first notch, and it unlocks. There's your big tall one that locks up, and then your ratchet piece kind of holds it in place. This is your actual spring. Now, I have to say, uh, it is very far off center and some other things about it, but in use, this thing has cut really, really well. As all cold steels, it comes ridiculously sharp out of box. Let's get a piece of paper, we'll do a quick uh, edge test out of box because I have not done anything to this. I haven't even stropped it yet. Got a piece of foam book paper. Actually, this is my, I mean, that is uh, ridiculous. This is the uh, California voters guidebook uh, so that they can tell you what they think you should vote on. Um, and then I'm going to make my decisions on what I am and I'm not going to vote on. But out of box, that is ridiculously sharp. 
Now I have cut a good bit of cardboard with this because I just wanted to see, you know, how well does it cut? It's a big broad, it's a big long blade with a thin profile. It is not very thick material, but just like all cold steels, this thing came super, super sharp and it performs really, really well for an $8 knife. Sorry about that guys, we got jets flying over a lot today. It happens every day these days. Um, but what I was saying is this performs incredibly well for an $8 knife. Like I said, I that is still that sharp after I cut up a bunch of cardboard. I'm really impressed with how well this thing cuts and performs. When you look at it, you've got this big long handle that you can get up on. It's not anything special, but it's comfortable to cut with. So I'm not trying to sell you guys on the fact that you can replace, you like this will not replace something like a cold steel gun sight or the Voyager series, or I'm not trying to put it in a league with this. I'm just kind of surprised at how much this knife does do and how well it does do it at $8. Because the thing is, a lot of people are looking for a knife that is like that. And the good thing about this, if you're carrying this, like you can slip this inside um, a front pocket and hold onto the ring. You could replace this with some paracord and have the cord come out. You can pull that out like a lanyard. And then you have a locking mechanism that is not, uh, that's not so big because I will say that with that ring on it in the pocket, it is kind of large. So you could replace that with a piece of, um, a, a piece of paracord or something like that. I actually replaced the ring that was on this and threw it away with a split ring that I had. The split ring that with, was with it was really thin and it was flat and I, it was very, very sharp on the inside. Uh, it actually, I cut myself with the ring. I'm, I'm not trying to play this up as a great knife. I guarantee there's gonna be some points of failure. You can already see there's like a little crack in the metal there. And, and how far over that is pinched in the bend. Um, I believe that Knife Junkie, Bobby DeMarco, said that his broke after three uses, but I've seen most of the people that had theirs broke were because they were pulling back instead of, they were pulling down. So when you do this, whoo, sharp at the tip, I just poked myself with it. When you do this, you wanna put your thumb here and just pull just enough to pop it. You don't want, you're not trying to pull back real hard on it. Uh, and I think what people are doing is they're pulling down or they're pulling up and they're putting tension on this the wrong way because it does not take much at all. You're just, all you're trying to do is get that first one broke through. But that is a big knife, a lot of knife. And I have to say, it's kind of fun to finally get to see one. Like I said, I had seen these for years and, and I never got one and I don't know why, they're eight bucks. Uh, as a matter of fact, they cost more now than they did the first time I saw them. I remember the first time these came up in the catalog um, on Cold Steel, and I was like, oh, I should get one of those. And I was like, ah, they were like $7. Now they're like $8, eight uh, $9, something like that. And I didn't even get this one. Stacy was like, I've got one of those things. You can just have it. I'll send it to you. But you've got a really nice clip point blade that's ground okay. I mean, there's some hiccups in the grind, um, but I'm sure for sharpening that would go away. It's a kind of a coarse edge, but you saw it is sharp. I'm just really, I'm kind of happy. I'm just enjoying this because it's kind of fun to get something in that you kind, that you, I, I pretty much thought I would hate this immediately. I thought this was going to be crap. And uh, to have it and realize that it's, it's quite a viable little purchase. Um, I, 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 t I was thinking about titling this, um, was it, what was it, uh, $8 wonder or purchase blunder. And I'm going to say, I think that this is kind of an $8 wonder. I never would have thought an $8 knife would be good. Uh, but I'm kind of impressed with this, especially with like, everything is so strong on this. This is a very strong knife. This handle material, there's no bend in that. I can bend the blade more than I can bend the handle material. It's all reinforced. It's, yeah, is it is it riveted? Yeah, but you also have got a, a tightenable pivot that works on a Torx. And pretty much it's just uh, like a molded plastic handle. And then this acts as your back spring. And the, the ratcheting mechanism holds it in place. Uh, 
like I said, I'm not trying to say it's like the end all be all of knives, but I am just really kind of surprised this first day. Now, I, this is just first impressions. I literally opened this box this morning. I did not do an unboxing. I opened this box this morning, started uh, using it and fiddling around with it. And this is basically first impressions on the Cold Steel Kudu. And I got to say for eight bucks, it definitely hits above its weight class. So, I mean, that's about all I've got on this one, guys. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm definitely going to carry this and use it for a while. I will, this is goes in, this fits very well in the pocket of my flannel shirt that I wear around a lot these days. That was a gift from one of my other paying members. And this does flip, fit right down inside that front pocket. I can just pull it out with the ring and then I can use it for whatever. I will, I'll tell you something else I did with this. I cut apples. I cut up some apples, uh, to make an apple tart earlier. Um, and this acts, this is very much like a thin paring knife kind of blade. Does a really, really jo good job. Oh, garbage truck. All right, garbage truck left. So what I was saying is I I'm really surprised at how well this actually works. Um, like I said, recycling day today, I had to cut down a bunch of boxes to make them fit because they sent us a replacement air fryer. And I don't know if you've seen how things are packed these days. That's a lot of cardboard. So I'd say that this is actually this is actually a really good knife at eight dollars. It's an incredible knife at eight dollars. This would still be a good knife at twenty dollars, in my opinion. Um, so if you're looking for a knife, we all have that one friend that always needs a knife, but you know that you can't get them anything nice. You you guys know that knife guy, that guy that's not a knife guy but always needs a knife. This would be something I would say. Um, stocking stuffers, stuff like that. Christmas is coming up. Um, I, I honestly am thinking about getting a couple of these. My mother needs a knife that she can operate, and this would be something that she doesn't have to manipulate a fancy lock. It's easy open and then easy close. She needs something that she can use to cut around because she keeps using my sister's good kitchen knives, and I hear about it all the time in text messages. Um, but yeah, this thing is a lot of fun for $8. Uh, if you've got friends that need a knife, I would say, yeah, go ahead and get it. I will put a purchase link. There's an, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to this directly below so you guys can pick it up. But I, I am so surprised how much I like this for $8, which doesn't surprise me. Cold Steel, as much as I ping it on them and I joke, Cold Steel has always made a quality product. I don't think that they would have kept their name on something like this for as long as they have if it was not good. So, guys, that's about it. That's about all I got on this one. Uh, I'm going to turn this around. We'll do some final thoughts, um, and I'll send you out about your day. I was just really kind of surprised because I've seen some videos. Now, I know this is probably hit or miss. We're looking at an $8 knife, uh, but Cold Steel usually is a pretty good product. I'm kind of impressed with this at the $8 mark. Is it anything spectacular? No. But for a, just um, like a quick camping trip knife that you might not need to uh, to have something special and you just want to throw something in your pack, this is great. And it's a large knife, so you could do a lot of work with it. It's interesting. Uh, so we'll see how it plays out. I don't know yet, like the title of this video, uh, $8 Wonder or Purchase Blunder. I'm not sure which it is yet, but we'll see in the future. Like I said, the only thing I had to do was I changed the ring because it was a little bit sharp, the one that came with it. Guys, that's it on this video. I just thought it would be fun because it came in as a gift from Stacy Bolster Blades, one of my paying members. So if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got notifications set to all on that bell and make sure you've got notifications turned on your device or you won't get notified if everything goes up. If you want to support the channel financially, there's a ton of ways. I have a bunch of affiliate links down below. None of the affiliate links cost you anything extra at checkout, but it does support the channel. Some of them even come with a discount. 10% off at uh, Dahlstrom Knives, 5% off Coffee Brand Coffee. Right now, I think it's 80% off at Atlas VPN, which is the uh, VPN that I use. And uh, Airfare Consolidator is a 3% discount, up to 3% off your uh, domestic air travel. Um, but all of the affiliate links directly support the channel. Like I said before, they don't cost you anything extra at checkout. Other ways you can do it, I have a membership that is tier-based. Everyone has access to my Gilded server. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into a giveaway that I do on the Gilded server. 
and the premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube that you can only access as a premium tier member. And the final way is I have a merchandise store over at Ember Shirt Co. where you can get my merchandise or other creators' merchandise at a 10% discount with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.